Well, hello and welcome to I Love Gay Today. And we are in like multiple worlds today. LGBT travel, as well as parenting surrogacy. But we have the great honor. We're here with Mike and Sebastian from Vienna. How are you both? Well, Amazing. Thank you for hosting yeah. us. Yeah. Well, it's it's great to... It. It was great to connect with you both. Um, it's it's unique for me because usually it's always Twitter or LinkedIn, but this time it was through Instagram. So uh, yeah. um, I I guess I'm making some uh, I guess I'm evolving and making some changes here. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, well, and what what's exciting though is that um is that you guys have really kind of created this this amazing content online, primarily through YouTube, and then of course uh, through Instagram. But you're um uh, you're you're two dad family gay couple. You've got it, you know. You've, you so you talk a lot about surrogacy and your and your daughter Mia, but also travel. So uh, we'll jump into some of that. But uh, first, I mean, tell us you got you guys got married in Bora Bora. Yes, almost one year ago, a little bit uh, over a year ago, uh, we got married in Bora Bora. It was just Mike, uh, Mia, and I, yeah, and yeah. Uh, we had a wonderful time together and had a wedding and honeymoon. So it was a three week uh, trip. Yeah. And, and it was, it. It was magical. So first of all, we went to Disneyland in Paris and yeah. then to Bora Bora. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. No, it was fantastic because the whole, you guys brought the entire wedding and the entire week and everything. You just brought it to life through YouTube. And, uh, and uh, that's just, uh, I thought it was amazing. We too. It was not intentional <laughs> at all. We wanted, to, because we were only the three of us. We wanted to find a way to, tell family and friends that we just got married you know and some people were disappointed and said okay I you know I, I wanted to be present at that moment and so we we found YouTube as a channel to communicate to family and friends that we basically got married yeah. and uh, after you know a few weeks we realized that the video really hit off and yeah. we're this moment was you know, crazy because Sebastian was like have a look at our YouTube video and we were looking it's like 250,000 view, views and we we're like what is happening yeah, here it's <laughs> happening yeah it was like so not intentional and then we thought okay we could just start you know yeah. whatever showing our family and uh, you know the reactions we got from people was was so hard touching um yeah, yeah. and so we thought okay maybe we can just uh create a little more of this well the idea behind it also was um that uh, um well as a tutor family here in vienna um it is not so normal and is not so accepted in society and um you know we never have been very uh like out there with our family or anything you know we just lived our life yeah. but then it started that like kids and also parents they were like addressing to us or to Mia like okay how is this possible it's not possible that's kind of weird and everything so yeah. we yeah. were wishing for us and for her that society knows about it it's not even that people are against it but they don't even know about it that it's possible yeah. so we said we wish someone would do it and we said who should do it if not us yeah. so we were thinking like, should we do it? Shouldn't we do it? And then we just started like pu putting ourselves out there with, with the message, hey, we want to show ourselves as a two dead family yeah. so that society can accept it through visibility. And somehow it's working. <laughs> it's that, it sounds like it was almost uh, like you guys are accidental influencers and content creators, but you didn't plan for it. It just sort of happened. Not definitely. At all. We, was it so was crazy. so funny. I think about one year ago when, when Mike first installed Instagram to yeah. our phones, you know, we were not Instagrammers at all, you know, not using Facebook much. And so I remember the first story, I was like, okay, Mike, can you explain me what's a reel and how does a story work? You know, I had no like, idea. <laughs> yeah, and we were Googling, you know, so how to put on yeah. stories and how to... <laughs> you know <laughs> how to yep. do a story yep. that was so funny wow. so and, funny and yeah and somehow it developed and some you know suddenly there was like five thousand ten thousand fifteen thousand and it, you know it was going on and going on it was like okay what is happening here i don't you know it was totally crazy but now we love doing it and it's also like a lot of t it's very time consuming but we yeah. think that it's for a good course and for a good reason and for a good vision and that's yeah. why we do it and that's why we love it yeah, well, I love that, but especially, uh, um, you know, you get it, you, you have an entire series about, you know, talking about your first date coming out. So you really have dove really deeply into that. And and like I said, uh, 
I guess, especially having such a great following, you're, uh, you're educating folks and making sure that they understand and get to know the LGBT community through your eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, definitely. And it gives us so much energy also, you know, to um, read through the comments. Um, and uh, yeah, there are people, you know, who are sending out messages uh, to us and we really love to read. And sometimes also people who struggle in life at some point, you know, and say, thank you for the content you shared, you know, that made my day happier. And uh, so this is also giving us a lot of energy. Yeah. And one thing that, that is also, especially with the YouTube videos, but also with the pictures and the stories uh, on Instagram is that um, many people, they cannot imagine how a Tudor family lives, but we're just a regular family. We have like the same things to do like every other family. We get up in the morning, we may not <laughs> be ready for school. She's too tired to go to school. Then, you know, we have breakfast. We are too late. We're going to school. We work. We like, it's all the same, you know? Um, so... Uh, this was very important to show as well, so that yeah, that it's yeah. just you know it's two guys who love each other, who married and who have a kid, and yeah. this is normal. Yeah, no, it's interesting. Also, is that you you dive into the whole world of surrogacy and you kind of in some ways help others to understand the journey and you know what what they can expect, what what they're getting into, and that's a huge plus all by itself. Definitely, I mean, for instance, uh, when I can talk. Um, about this uh, topic, I could I could have never imagined how to have a child myself. You know, yeah. for me, it was always important to have a partner first, and then to think about how to get a child. And Mike saw it from a different perspective. He, you know, started the surrogacy process as a single, and uh, and then when Mia was on the way, I came into their lives. You know, so um, I became a father without having many uh, documents to sign and yeah, <laughs> without yeah. so it was just from the very first day of our relationship basically I came into the, the family um, and I'm very proud that Mike kind of also provided me the way or showed me how to do it as a, even as a single dad you know and now we're together now we've been married and started having the second child um, or we're in the process of uh, getting a second child. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Wow. It's interesting too. You guys uh, kind of pioneer that whole world of not everybody realizes that how much they could travel when it comes to when they're uh, with their parents. And uh, I mean, you guys go everywhere. We do. We love <laughs> traveling. You know, it is, we're crazy for traveling. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, yeah. Our big passion. I think so. Uh, yes, the, this is also why we uh, we want to move to the U.S. at least for half a, le a year um, uh, this uh, uh, next year, yeah. um, because we want to see all those places on this world. We see ourselves as like world citizens and not as Austrians. You know, there is so yeah. much to uh, to to see. And it's also for Mia, you know, Mia, she was, um, she, she's bilingual, she, she, speak, she speaks English and German uh, about the same level. Yeah. And that was so important for us because we knew that she's going to travel with us so much and she finds friends everywhere. And um, I think it's a great experience for her as well. Yeah. Definitely. I can, I can tell it all comes through. It all comes through in those videos. So, and yeah. the photos, you guys have a great photo shoot as well that you put online. Thank you. Yeah, I enjoy that. But no, mostly, oh, lastly, before we uh, go away, are you guys on TikTok? No. Um, we have I mean, we have, we have an account, yeah. right? Um, yeah. yeah. We don't really, uh, yeah. We, I think we should maybe start TikToking. I have, I, especially when you're doing the Instagram reels. It's, uh, it's I mean, yeah, it's, a, it's basically Instagram reels coming from TikTok, but I have a feeling that you're going to have this huge following develop on TikTok as well if you, if you jump there. Really? Okay. If you say so, we got to go. On. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you very much for the inspiration. Yeah. Uh, we'll get it started. We'll post this interview on TikTok as well. So we'll at least see if we can at least is it, get, thing, get things kick started a little bit. Perfect. Okay, well, it's Mike and Sebastian, two dads. Ah. Easy Good to buy. So, <laughs> no, I'm going to make sure um, on this on this interview. I'm going to make sure there's links to all of you know your YouTube, your oh. Instagram, and so forth. And um, but mostly, I'm just really glad that you guys were able to kind of take a few moments of your time and share some of your story here with our audience. No, we're so happy that of you course. had us. Absolutely. Thank you so. So much. And look forward to hopefully connecting in the real world someday. 
Yes, definitely. definitely so, you, are you in uh, LA at the moment? Or no, in now I'm uh, close to New York. So I'm from LA, but then I moved uh, moved to okay. New York City, and now I just live right a little bit outside the city. Ah, okay. Well, we definitely will come to New York within the next one or two years. So we're yes. gonna meet that. I would like that. Well, Look thanks again. Forward. Great seeing you all here. <laughs> Bye. So good.